Freeze Booster Controlled Nucleation Technology, offered by Milrac Technology. Freezing without controlled nucleation may result in different crystal structures and inconsistent pore sizes in the product, resulting in longer primary drying cycles. To produce a consistent crystal structure and pore size, a method of control is required that will nucleate all of the product in the freeze dryer at the same temperature, time, and rate. The freezing step is considered the foundation to a repeatable and efficient freeze drying process. A good freezing process can produce consistent product and faster drying cycles. Freeze Booster by Milrock Technology is a patent applied for technique to control nucleation during the freezing step of the freeze drying cycle. Unlike other techniques, Freeze Booster does not need high positive pressures which require expensive ASME rated pressure vessels. Freeze Booster has been demonstrated to work on systems as simple as laboratory scale with clear acrylic doors that never produce a positive pressure. The Freeze Booster system can be retrofitted to many freeze dryers by using Milrock's control system and field installable system modifications. Benefits include reduction in the freeze drying cycle times, improved production throughput, improved product consistency and yields, reduced operating costs, reduced stress on biological materials, repeatable to enhance QBD, scalable from lab to production, and eliminates product temperature droop associated with high pressure nucleation. The following demonstrates freeze booster technology. The product to be freeze dried is placed on the shelves where the shelves are cooled, super cooling the product to approximately minus five degrees C. At this point, no crystallization, crystallization has occurred. The chamber pressure is reduced to approximately 50 torr. Next, the product chamber is isolated, closing the isolation valve. The condenser coil is turned on and cooled to its maximum low, while continuing to reduce the vacuum or the pressure in the condenser. The vacuum pump is then turned off. Nucleation seating is created in the freeze booster module and then injected into the, con the condensing chamber where it's crystallized. By opening the isolation valve, the crystals are injected into the product chamber, nucleating the product. Here the chamber pressure remains below 600 torr and never reaches a positive level. From here, the freeze drying process can be continued. The result of controlled nucleation is a very rapid freezing, which you can see here on this graph as the product is super cooled to minus five. The product is nucleated, which instantly rises to a zero degree C through the crystallization process, and then go, can go through its normal freezing cycle. From here, you can apply um, an annealing or continue on to your primary drying process. The beauty of freeze booster technology is it's a very low cost technology. It's very easy to implement. It's retrofitable to almost any freeze dryer with an external condenser. It does not require any positive pressures. Therefore, it doesn't require any ASME pressure rated vessels. It doesn't have the temperature droop associated with high pressure methods. And it can maintain a sterile envelope for use with SIP systems. For more information, contact Milrock Technology at 845-339-5700 in the U.S. or email us at sales at milrocktech.com.